Hey, what's up guys? This is Bowers Play Fitness and today I want to do a real fast, quick video on something very basic. We're going to be talking belts. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a basic remedial type of a video. So if that's not your bag of tea, then go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, but if you want to hear what I have to say, then stick around. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subbed, I wish that you would. All right, so I'm going to presume that if you're still with me, you're interested in hearing what I have to say about belts, okay? So a belt is an important tool for your weight training. Um, really what it does is it gives you something to push against, something to feel when you're performing your brace, right? So it gives you um, something, like I said, that you can actually feel and push against. So typically when somebody's using a, uh, a belt for the first time, put it on them so it's snug, I put my fingers in the belt and tell them to crush my fingers, right? So you can, you can get that, that, bracing, uh, that bracing technique and by, by bracing your abdomen, you're bracing your core, you create more abdominal stability, and therefore you're not, you're not likely to pitch forward and collapse in something like a squat or, or a deadlift rather. Um, also useful in a bench. But maintaining, maintaining abdominal rigidity allows you to have more power in applying uh, your strength to the bar versus losing positioning by having some abdominal caving, right? So that kinesthetic cue of the belt really, really helps. Now I've had a lot of questions about how to wear the belt and, and you know, seeing where I wear my belt and asking why I wear the belt in a certain way at a certain time. I have learned over years of uh, training and experience that I like to wear my belt at different positions and at different tightnesses depending on what it is I'm doing. If I'm doing say a light, or a, a light deadlift, something just slightly over 50%, I'll wear it very loose and kind of high. And then as I get heavier and heavier, so you know, up to maybe a maximal kind of an effort, I'll wear it much tighter. Um, that has to do again with kind of how I feel. Wearing a belt is largely shooter's preference. So really, you want to wear it where it feels the best. Um, you don't want it digging into your ribs. You don't want it digging into your hip. So you may have to adjust for some measure of comfort, um, but also based on how you feel. Again, with a deadlift, I prefer to wear it kind of high up on my up on my uh, stomach, kind of right up under my ribs. Whereas when I dead or I, I'm sorry, when I squat, I'll tend to prefer it a little bit lower. Um, you too will find your own kind of pattern and how you prefer to wear your belt, but there is a reason for why I wear the belt, where I wear the belt, and when I wear it that way. Um, and you too may find the same way that you're not always gonna wear a belt the exact same way for the exact, for, for various things all the time. Um, and so I think that's a very important uh, thing to say. I don't hear really anyone else talking about that, varying the positioning of the belt based on what it is you're doing, or even perhaps how heavy you're going. Um, I am not a fan of beltless work, you know, things that are up over 50%. Um, I like having the belt on because it gives you that, that, that physiological cue of something to push against. Therefore, you get better muscular active, activation when you're performing the movements. Um, anyway, probably a lot more that we could say on belts, but I wanted to do a real quick snippet, something fast and kind of furious to be able to bring just a little bit of information to you. If you guys have some more questions or want me to clarify something, go ahead and hit me in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond or reach out and connect to me anyway by email, Instagram, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm always available. Uh, I appreciate you guys continuing to support me on the channel with likes, shares, and subs. It means a lot. And I, I really appreciate you keep all that coming. Remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, you know, use a belt and improve your performance and your function in the gym. You gotta get in, train a spike. You're either gonna find an excuse or you're gonna find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.